<laughs> There's Kelsey. Get some caffeine in my system. I've got on my white to go go boots. Hello. <laughs> the costumes. I'm starting to feel out everything that I need to do. But that is the life of the Fida. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deanna. I'm 23, I'm an actor, and this is going to be a weekend in my life as an actor. I'm currently in Beehive, the 60s musical, at a theater about an hour away from me. I will be in tech all this weekend, so I figured I would vlog for you guys if you're interested to know what life is like as an actor, what it's like to be in a professional show. I can only film so much, of course. I can't film any of the actual, like, us rehearsing. So like I said, this week is tech weekend, which means we are adding sound and lighting and working cue to cue with that and since the theater is about an hour away from me I thought I would stay in the actor housing this weekend so I packed a bag I've got all my stuff I'll be staying there tonight and then I was supposed to be staying there tomorrow but I ordered something that I need I accidentally put the shipping to my apartment now I have to go back home and get it tomorrow so that kind of sucks but it's fine I am super excited for this weekend there are a few extra of us staying at the house this weekend in particular because of Heck, um, there's some girls who have been staying in the house the whole time from out of town, but it's gonna be really fun. At this point, of course, we've learned the entire show. We've just been running things over and over, and we're gonna add all the extra elements this weekend. Let's go to the theater. So sorry, I have not vlogged in a while. We are actually in intermission right now of running the show, and we are about to do act two, which starts with Tina Turner and the Iquettes, and I am singing the first song, Am I a Fool? And we are wearing shoes now, so I've got on my white go-go boots, period. The run's going pretty well. We are singing in full voice now, which has definitely been a little bit of an adjustment, but we have to get in the routine for the show. So yeah, it's been exciting. Uh, here's the dressing room if you wanna see. I'm sharing it with two other girls. And my station is in the middle right here. We're on a break right now before our director gives us some notes, but I wanted to show you a few of my costumes because I have a lot of quick changes in the show and they're about to move like half of my costumes upstairs. So I wanted to give you guys a chance to see them. So here is one, this gorgeous dress I'm wearing at the end of act one. This is for Aretha Franklin, nice feathers. Um, just all kinds of stuff. Like, look at this vest, y'all, that I'm wearing for literally 0.2 seconds, but I'm absolutely obsessed. Um, more kind of late 60s wear. This dress, you guys, this cheetah one, I'm wearing for a monologue that I'm doing in the show, and it hugs in all of the right places, let me tell you. And guys, look at my Tina Turner dress. Like, just, just take a moment. Just take a moment. Incredible. And then I've got a few other fun dresses too. This is for the Supremes, gorgeous giant sleeves. Um, yeah, our costume designer Kim is absolutely incredible and she even made sure that we had tights to fit our skin tone. She's just amazing. And then of course we've got the beehive jacket. Also here are a few wigs I'm wearing in the show. I'm wearing that one to start out and then we are switching it up. Look at that bowl cut, that's hilarious. This is my Afro wig, and then here is my Tina Turner wig, y'all. When I tell you, these curls! Hey guys, it is just after 7.30, and everyone else has been released from rehearsal, except for me, because they decided they wanted to run a lot of my quick changes. Guys, I have hella quick changes in act one. Like, it's actually ridiculous. I'm in my opening outfit. How cute is this? It says beehive on the back. You can't really see. And then I'm wearing just some uh, black character shoes. My character acts as the narrator kind of for the show. And so I have to change a ton. So we're going to go through all of those tonight. And hopefully I get out a little bit early. So let's go. <laughs> a.m. We start at 10 a.m. today and we go until 9 p.m. So it's gonna be a long day, a lot of starting and stopping for us. I didn't vlog a whole lot last night, but after rehearsal, I met up with two of my castmates at a brewery that was like not far from the theater. We hung out for a little bit. And then I came back to the house and sat outside with two other of my castmates and we had like a cheese board and wine and um, I was eating Bojangles personally. We just talked outside for a long time and then I just came back and went to bed. And now it is time for me to shower and get ready. I wanna try to go to Starbucks too before tech starts just so I get some caffeine in my system. 
Also, I'm hoping you guys get to meet some of my castmates today. I didn't want to stick a camera in anyone's face yesterday. It just didn't feel like the right time. But today, I think you'll meet a few of them. I know my friend Kayla is really excited to talk to you guys on camera. I've told her about my channel. So you guys will meet her and the rest of my castmates later. Whoever wants to be on camera. Sit. Oh. You know what, it's fine. Normally I would pin curl my hair to go under the wig, but I don't have time for that today. So we are just gonna do a quick uh, little twist and shout, as I like to call it. Um, <laughs> and then I'm gonna bobby pin it down and hope that that works. Okay, not bad. I tried to make it as flat as possible, and I think I did. So we are wig prepped and now I have to go. All right, here's outfit one. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's Kelsey. <laughs> but here's the first look of the show, and I've got my wig on. Actually, this is not my wig for the top of the show. I ended up getting a beehive wig a couple days later in rehearsal, and I love it. Me and my castmate named her Frida. I look like a Frida right now. Okay, let's do tech. We've officially finished teching act one, and we just got out of our costumes for notes before we do lunch finally. We are all starving. I'm just trying to hold on until then, but it looks really, really good, guys. The costumes and the wigs are so gorgeous on stage with the lighting and the set design. Like, I just love this stage of everything. Just watching it come together is so, so cool, and we have an amazing creative team working on it. Tech always gets me super, super excited for the performances. <sighs> okay. I look like an egg, but that is the life of the theater. anything is what I'm saying. I'm on my way back to the theater right now. We start at 12 today and we're going until 9 p.m. The plan is to run the show twice and then we're also taking photos today so that's an extra layer that we're adding. So I have to make sure my makeup looks good. Mind you, I thought I was gonna get to the theater today by like 11.15 but it is now 11.15 and I'm just now really getting on the way. So I'm gonna have to do a full face of makeup in a short amount of time but I've had worse happen, so I left all my makeup at the theater, so I didn't have a choice. We open in four days, which is insane. This process has gone by so fast, and I just am feeling really grateful to be working on this show. That's why I haven't really been complaining either, because I'm just grateful to be working, period. I've tried to have that outlook on things when I'm tired or hungry or any of the things. I got my little bandana on. I didn't do pen curls again today, because honestly, my hair is just so dirty. I need to wash it. So I have it twisted back again like I did yesterday. I showed you guys that. But anyway, I am gonna do my vocal warm-ups in the car. We're running this show twice. I am gonna make sure I'm fully warmed up before I go in. Energy-wise, I'm feeling so, so good. Ready to finish out the week. We're gonna be off tomorrow, I believe. Yes, you can. Yeah, makeup wipe. I'm sorry, I'm filming myself. You can step in if you want. Hello. <laughs> I, where are they? Let me yeah. see. They might be I love your little vlog setup. That's so cute. Thank you. That's so Thank you. Here you go. Beautiful. It's really about to create, hopefully, one of the best beats of my life. Girl. With the most, with the minimal amount of materials 
And I um, thought I was getting here early and was not. Did she talk to both of y'all about underdressing for girl groups? Yes. Yes. I, mean, I have bloomers too that are up there. I just have not worn them yet too, okay. but. James, are you going upstairs? Is he gone already? I was gonna ask if you're already going up there. If not, it's okay. Um, these are my pumps for Aretha in the finale. Do you mind taking those up? You can just, you don't see the box, but I would, but I'm just kind of rush. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think Kim had started to say something and then she was like, never mind, that doesn't apply to you. Because Sorry. you're in that dress. Today she pinned the, um, the black thing. Pet, the the oh, pet coat. Mm -hmm. So, okay. let's be careful with that today. It shouldn't stab you or anything, but mm -hmm. just to make you aware of that. Okay, thank you. It is a lot later. We did our first full run of the show earlier. It went well, but for one of the songs, I'm struggling a little bit vocally. Normally it sounds fine when I do it, but I just was not breathing after the choreography and I was like, so I'm gonna make sure I'm set for that. But other than that, the show went really well. I'm starting to feel out everything that I need to do. I have a lot of monologues in this show. My story is kind of stringing everything together and I'm really finding the moments in that. And my director complimented me, which was really nice. I mean, obviously I don't need that, but it was nice to have the validation that things were going well. Hello, I'm just talking to myself. Good. <laughs> but yes, everything went well, and we're gonna run through the show again. We had a little lunch break, slash full well, dinner, late lunch, early dinner, and we're gonna run it again. Not sure if I'll have time to film anything, but if I do, you will see some more clips. All right, we are ready. <laughs> weekend has come to a close and I am feeling so so good so sorry I didn't vlog for you guys a lot today I do not leave the stage and if I'm not on the stage I am backstage and not in the dressing room so I was not able to really vlog today but I hope that you guys got a sense of what it's like to work as an actor during tech week honestly I had such a great time of course tech week has its moments where you know it's stressful I have a lot of quick changes and like figuring that out has been a lot to navigate there's so much that goes into theater that people will just never understand if you're not a part of it, but I am so grateful to be a part of this group of amazing women in the cast and our amazing crew. What initially drew me to theater as a kid was performing because I love to perform, but what has kept me has honestly been the community of people. And on the ride home, I was thinking about my nine-year-old self because that's the age I was when I first got into theater. And I was thinking of how proud she would be right now of the woman I am now and the fact that I am working professionally as an actor. This is not my first professional show, but it is my first professional show as a principal cast member. So it's been really, really exciting and I've learned a lot and I just wanted to share that. So if you are an actor or aspiring actor, I highly recommend getting into it and staying into it if it's something that you really wanna do because I, love it like there is nothing i love more except for god than theater <laughs> and my family but you know you get the point so on that note i'm gonna end the vlog here because i am hungry i want to eat my food and go to bed thank you guys so so much for watching and supporting me i thank you for everything please like comment and subscribe for more and i will talk to you guys later besos bye